Alright guys, the uh, Cooler Master V8 CPU cooler just came in the other day. Uh, I'm going to be using this in one of my builds. Uh, probably not going to post the build up for a little while. I still haven't decided on a motherboard and some of the other components I'm going to be putting in it, but I have decided on this CPU cooler. Um, I figured I'd go ahead and do a quick unboxing of it um, off the bat. It's got some pretty decent looking packaging. Um, it's compatible with uh, all the recent sockets, Intel and AMD, all the way up to the AM3 socket, AMD wise and down. Um, it's compatible with the new 13, well not the new, but the, the 1366 and 1156 sockets from Intel, uh, the i7, i5, and i3. Um, go ahead and start getting this thing unpackaged and give you guys a look inside. Uh, warranty and instruction manuals, put those back in the box. Comes with a bag of all these supplies we'll need for the mounting stuff, and including one of the expansion bay brackets, uh, I do believe, for the, the adjustable fan speed, and it comes with its own tube of thermal paste. Uh, the little socket tool for securing it. All in all, comes for everything that you'll need to mount it to pretty much any socket type that you'll need. Uh, it looks like it comes in some decent cushion package here. Keep it from getting damaged in shipping or storage. Alright guys, now that we got the Cooler Master V8 unboxed, um, some of the first things that you'll notice is the uh, front plate they have on here. It looks real well and ties together with the rest of the theme as far as the chrome lettering and insignias that they have on here. Uh, you got your eight heat pipes coming off your block uh, which run into four different radiators uh, the 120 millimeter fan in the center is running the push-pull configuration off of each side which is kind of nice it's uh, the way that they have that centered in there uh, these move quite a bit of air they're quiet uh, one of the other advantages is you have a uh, switch it's wired up to where you can very adjust the variable in your fan speed but uh, I'm probably going to be doing something a little bit different than this. I may stick with that same switch. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try to do something a little, little different with that. Uh, your power cable, 4-pin, it's already sleeved, which is nice. Saves me a little bit of work. All in all, these things are good buy. Uh, they're not going to let you down. Great for overclocking, any other performance stuff that you're going to be doing with your CPUs. and It'll run with the, uh, the highest end processors so all in all you can't really beat it you get them on Newegg, amazon.com they usually run sales on these things anywhere from 40 to 80 dollars new and you're not going to be disappointed not a good buy if you're considering it go ahead and get it but the one thing that you want to make sure of is that it'll fit in your case uh, you may have some trouble with some of the smaller uh, smaller mid towers just depending on the width of the case so, you know, you might want to measure that up ahead of time and check it out or look at the compa compatibility charts for it. But uh, once again, all in all, you wouldn't be disappointed with it. So uh, I'm giving it a thumbs up. Well, until next time, talk to you later, guys. Bye.